Life is all about balance and redemption, moderation, love and affection. Make our dreams come true with attraction. Always live our life with no regret and don't look back but never forget. On behalf of the Browns and the Bobbish families, we welcome everyone to this final installment of their wedding tour. <laughs> the best compliment I can give you, Ben, is that if I had my daughter able to marry you, I would have given her my permission. And so I am so thrilled that my goddaughter is your wife. And my sweet Coco, your spirit, thoughtfulness, caring, empathy, and love for all the people has shined through all the years to make you the person you are. I hope it's the best for the both of you. And everything rises to the top in sickness and in health, which actually means, by the way, that sometimes you're pissed at each other and sometimes you're not. <laughs> But always be patient and remember this day and all the goodness in each other. I love you. On cool winter nights, love is warm. It lies between you and lives and breathes. Love doesn't like being left alone, sometimes like Connor, but when love comes home, it's always happy to see you. Love multiplies and brings in new friends and excitement in life. But most of all, love needs love and lots of it. And in return, love loves you and it never stops. Our story started in New Orleans on Bourbon Street. But it wasn't until we were back in Gainesville a few weeks later, on Halloween, that my Mortal Kombat costume caught your eye. <laughs> From the first time we hung out, I loved how much you talked about your family, your love for the ocean, dolphins, and your golden retriever trace, as well as your knowledge of gator sports. Many of you know, because of COVID, Ben and I got married on our boat last August. So, we've been married for about a year now. I've learned many things about Ben during this first year of marriage. One, he's a mute when the Gators or Steelers are playing badly. <laughs> Two, he refuses to use a Yeti for his coffee on the go, even if that means stealing it all over the bar. <laughs> Although he's put together an on-point office, he is absent-minded to the point of accidentally throwing away our marriage license, and more recently, forgetting his wedding band for the ceremony today. <laughs> You're the most beautiful, loving, caring, patient, strongest person I know. I'm so blessed to say I truly have met my best friend and soulmate. I never thought I would find someone that loves our families. The Gators, food, traveling, fishing, stick figure, and Frazier. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. I'll never forget spending time with your dad and witnessing that love he shared for you and your family and all of his friends. That's exactly what I want, whether that's with kids, golden retrievers, balls in your court. I'll let you, I'll let you decide that one. You're my person, my inspiration, my love, my everything. I cannot wait to spend a lifetime for me. Connor, do you still want Ben <laughs> to be your husband? Yes. Do you, do you promise to love her, honor her, cherish her, and protect her forevermore? I do. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. All right, and so, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure for the first, second time, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Ben Bobbish.
I know we all miss Ben Brown tonight, but I know he's here in all of our hearts. My toast to you, Ben and Connor, is his as well. During her undergraduate years at UF, Ben Brown and I wondered whether there would be a young man compatible with Connor and our family. Then, along came Ben Bobish, and he very quickly figured out the way to Connor's heart. Peyton Presley and I are so blessed to have Ben as an official member of the Brown family. It makes me so happy to see them living their panic life, just as Ben Brown and I lived the early lives of our marriage. I can still remember to this day getting text, text messages in the family chat about the girl that Ben wanted us to meet. She's educated, Ben said, check number one. She's athletic, Ben said, check number two. She fishes. I want proof. A few minutes passed and in our text message thread, I get a legit YouTube link of the brown girls on a beautiful center console in the Bahamas, spearing fish, swimming with dolphins, and laying on the bottom of the ocean with starfish. She taught Ben how to fish, dive, free dive. <laughs> From the stories last night, apparently how to drink in college. Ben. I think I knew you were here to stay when you earned your nickname Leonidas on the Bahamas trip. My dad was amazed and overcome with joy that someone could lift the coolers with such ease and was enthusiastic about learning more about spearfishing. He was all but too excited to teach you, and now he would have properly named you a part of our A-team. Coco, we couldn't be happier that you found your soulmate to take adventures with, to love Fraser with, to do deadlifts with, and to make each other smile every day. Daddy is beaming with pride knowing that you are so excited. Connor and Ben, my words of marital advice to you. Always remember, there are fish that need killing, rum that needs swilling, beer that needs chilling, and coolers that need filling. DBAFP.